Right, so what am I going to talk you through? So I've bought a piece of aluminium, piece of aluminium uh, plate. I've uh, drilled uh, quite a few holes in it, and the plan is to make a grow light with these uh, cheap Chinese cobs. So what we'll be needing is uh, I've got a hundred watt soldering iron, some uh, solder, some electrical tape, obviously uh, a knife, some wire, but lots of these cobs. I've been watching, uh, let me uh, just zoom into that. I've been watching uh, BigClive.com on uh, YouTube. So uh, I've got 40 of these 50 watt cheap Chinese cobs. I've got some uh, joining boxes, a dimmer switch, some uh, hangers, lots of uh, nuts and bolts, some heat sink glue and uh, one of the uh, plug-in plug measurers because I want to see how much these, I think these draw approximately uh, 20 watts per cob. But, uh, let's try to get a good look at these. I don't know whether you've seen these on, on the actual, uh, some of the sites. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people have been put off by how cheap they are. But, uh, basically what I've done is, uh, I've made a series of holes. It's a new camera, so bear with me. Get it going on out there. You go, is that it? But uh, basically, I've made a series of holes where I intend to wire these in. Like I say, I've got about 40, so uh, and I'm going to start to wire them all in, and this should be approximately 700 watts and give approximately up to 200,000 lumens which is pretty bright now uh, it's only uh, an experiment it's for people who'd rather build their own light this is one of three that I intend to build I've got different cobs I've got different LED lights uh, so follow this blog and uh, I'll run you through how to make your own light to uh, to grow plants uh, indoors. So uh, I'll sign off for now, just running through the things that you need. Uh, if you've got any questions, just ask away and uh, I'll try to help you. And I'd just like to plug BigClive.com on YouTube. This is where... I've got most of my information from. I'm not an electrician, but I know uh, the basics. So, uh, join me for the second pair shortly. Right, I'm just going to run through uh, some cost. I mean, this is the light. This is how I've uh, determined to set it up. Now, these are 50 watt chip on board cobs they're only the cheap Chinese stuff I think these cost me approximately 80 pounds they're about two pounds each the uh, aluminium uh, plate that cost me 15 pounds but this is the wire and this should give us uh, around the region of 200,000 lumens which is so bright 
uh, obviously you've got some junction boxes some uh, some tape uh, I had to get a, a couple of special soldering irons to make sure it solders this is a 100 watt one I've also got a 300 watt one uh, these are quite handy I need those for uh, all the uh, wire trimming uh, got a load of nuts and bolts there to uh, to actually uh, affix these with heat sink glue to the uh, to the aluminium plate all in all I'd say it's cost me around around about 125 quid but it will be so so bright it's incredible I think each one of these produce about 6,000 lumens five to six thousand lumens so there's 40 there's 40 on there and so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wire each one of these in parallel so I've got quite a lot of uh, wiring and soldering to do the uh, you can get these on uh, eBay or Aliexpress and uh, what I intend to do is add uh, a two-way I've got an 800 watt dimmer switch there so this will uh, I'll be wiring this in so uh, I won't be pushing the uh, LEDs too hard so uh, they'll last a lot longer won't create as much heat uh, yeah I'd, I'd have said about 125 130 pounds and uh, We'll see what it. Uh, we'll we'll see what sort of uh, grow it does. Right, that's it for now. All I'm going to do is uh, solder each one up, and uh, I'll join you in a while. Right. So at the moment, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix these these cheap chips onto this. Uh, it's about three or four millimeter, five millimeter uh, aluminium plate. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of this piece of this thermal glue first I'm going to put a hole in it I'm going to place it all over this just like so I'm going to place it here and squeeze it quite, quite hard down then I'm going to place two screws inside it there one two then I'm going to do the next one this will dissipate the heat a lot better that quite put quite a bit of pressure on it to make a really good contact so I want to do each one of these with some glue and screw them down in and uh, then we'll come back to you right so what we've done is we've uh, heat sinked glued and screwed all these in now we're going to do this side I'll just show you as uh, doing a couple again it's quite easy, it's just a little bit finicky, that's all. So uh, what we do is we grab the cob, put some uh, glue on it, press it down on the outsides, line it up with the holes, and then we plonk two screws in there, one in there, and one in there then we uh, screw it up I'll just show you again so we take the uh, cob put some of this uh, heat sink glue on place it over the holes and press the outsides of the cob move it around so we really get a good adhesion with the uh, so what, what we'll do is we'll uh, finish these and we'll uh, join you back in a, a few minutes. 
Right, well the next step, while these are drying, they've all been screwed in and with nuts and bolts and what have you. Uh, what we've done is we've got some 1.5mm 3 core and we've uh, cut 30, approximately 6 inch pieces. Uh, these are going to be uh, soldered onto the live and neutral parts of each one and pass through this hole. It's going to be wired it's going to be wired in parallel so, and not in series so uh, next uh, the job to do get a handy pair of these and uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, stripping the ends off and these will be getting soldered onto the lives and neutrals running through each light uh, once we get all these ready we'll uh, come back okay Right, we've stripped the ends of all of these uh, three core wires. So uh, we've got the wire there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, what's called tinning. So we're going to tin each end, well, one end of the uh, of each of these wires. Uh, when that's done, we can proceed to start uh, soldering them to the uh, live and neutral of each of the uh, cobs. So uh, we'll be back in about about an hour. Right, what we've done so far is we've uh, taken all these six inch pieces of uh, 1.5 mil copper wire and uh, we've tinned them. We've put some solder on the, on the tips of them. And then what, what we need to do now is we need to put it onto the live connection Hold it there for a second or two, pull it off, and it doesn't stick on. Let's try it again. Let's do it on this piece. There we go. Right, that's now uh, stuck on there, and that's fine. This piece here. Just needs a little bit of scratching away from it. For some reason. Uh, but then we'll take another piece. We've got a solder on the end there. What we'll do is we'll hold it over the end. We'll just hold it onto there. Some of these actually need a little bit more solder on them so uh, what we'll do is we'll get a little bit more solder on them but we're, we're, we're doing each one each live then each negative and then uh, we'll thread them through to the back and we'll join them to the actual main wires join us right uh, so that's all the uh, live feeds to each cob what we've done is we've done all 40 uh, or 30 however the many there is now what we're going to do is we're going to feed them all through these little holes here to the other side of the board so looks just a lot more neater so you've just got the uh, one wire so uh, what we're going to do is uh, next we're going to solder on the neutral wires and pass them all through to the back so they can be wired in parallel so join us again in about 30 minutes Right, now, so we've got all the cobs lined up, uh, they're only cheap Chinese things these, but we've got uh, all the live and neutrals all uh, soldered in, and uh, this is what it looks like on the other side. So now we've just got to wire this in parallel, and then uh, jobs are good. So we'll get back in about five minutes. <laughs> 